Okay. Hello, Absent Lakers. You're here for the second installment of Absent Laker Physics Lab. We're going to do today uh, an important lab on what we're studying, the conservation of energy. Uh, we've talked a little bit about it. We know we say that energy can be transformed from one form into another. The total amount needs to stay the same. That's what we're going to investigate, though, today. More importantly, what we're going to take a look at is maybe from the engineering side of things, what's the difference between the theory and actual reality, the practice of it. So the experiment is actually really simple, and the data that we take is also uh, pretty simple to, to analyze. We're going to start with a cart. The cart's mass is one kilogram, with this weight on there, with that mass on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to start it from rest, and all it has is gravitational potential energy when we start it. It's then going to allow to, to be to roll down, and no surprise there, so what we're seeing is that potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy. And we're going to use a new tool in this lab uh, to figure out what is the velocity, how would we calculate the kinetic energy of this. We're going to use what's called a photo gate. I'll show it to you real quick. Pretty simple device. What it does is uh, just allows us to time things very, very accurately. So in the software for LabQuest, we're going to run this mass through the photo gate. It's a little infrared beam. And while the beam is blocked by the mass, uh, it times how long it's blocked. So the software will know that this is four centimeters. And when we run that through there, it's going to basically record the time that that four centimeters went through there. So the distance, four centimeters, divided by the time, is the velocity. So it gives us a really uh, quick and easy way to calculate the velocity of something moving through it. That's put up here. So one of the things you'll see in your data is the velocity of the cart at that lowest point. The other thing that you're going to see, and this is a really important distinction, is where are we going to drop the cart from? We're going to drop it from different locations on the track. Let me first tell you what does not matter. All the tracks could be different steepnesses. We don't care about how far the car rolls down the track. We care about the vertical drop that the cart experiences. So one of the other pieces of data that you're going to see is how far vertically above this low point was the track. And we make those measurements just with simply a ruler at the, at the top of the track. So we're going to release it so that the cart falls a centimeter. We'll move it back a little bit. And we're going to release it so the cart falls a vertical distance of two centimeters. So on and so forth. So the only data you're going to get as absent students is the velocity when the cart goes through the photo gate and the height, the vertical height above this zero reference level that we drop it. So it's not the distance it rolls, it's the height. Okay? So look at the Edmodo, look at the PDF, it should have the data, and then use the rubrics that are on there uh, to complete the lab.